Okay, I want to show a real quick filleting trip. Uh, if you're having problems filleting things, this is a pretty fast way of solving the problem. I'm going to uh, draw a rectangle. Actually, before I do that, escape, I'm going to go to options. This is critical. And we're going to go into general. And we're going to say we need to use, use millimeters, in my case, to make sure that the, the unit system is going to be the same as what I'm going to use later. Uh, so I put it, I set it to millimeters. Now it's done. I can zoom out. Okay, there. So let's go ahead and create a box. Uh, there we are. Something like this. Okay, and then take this and we're going to fill it. Something big. I'll say 50. Ooh, that's not too, that's too big. How about 30? That's good. Okay, and then I'm going to take and uh, once it's filleted, I'm going to go ahead and draw a freeform curve. Let's view it. You can see it in here. I'll expand it out a little bit so that it kind of. There. Okay, now I'll say Boolean difference it. Let's delete this. I can select this this surface here. Oops. That surface, and I can hit the fill it button again. And we're gonna see that I'm having a pro I'm having trouble filling it. So I'll put let's say a ten fill it. You can see I can't do it. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll select it. And I'll say file, export. I'm gonna use a step. <laughs> so I'm gonna save it as untitled step. I already have one there, so I'll replace that. And then I'm going to go into Onshape, which is a free, let's, let's go back here, Onshape, which is a very free, uh, I'm going to delete the old file I had, uh, free uh, CAD program. It's online. I use it with uh, Chrome. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, hit this little button once I've registered for it. Here's kind of the, the documents space. I upload the file. There it is. I upload file to part studios only. I want to flatten it it's because this is a it's not a pro e file or, any, or a uh, SOLIDWORKS file. So now it's translating it. Even while it's translating it, I can just click on it and it'll load it up for me. There we go. So it's loading the workspace. So there it is. First thing I always do is I'll click on one of these planes. I'll say hide other planes and then I'll hide that one. So now I can. Pretty much, you can just use the right button just like you do in, in Moment of Inspiration. Shift, shift, middle button will, will pan. So I just come in here, I can select one of these curves, hit the fill up button, and what we say, uh, 10 was, it, was the number we were looking at, 10? Yeah, it was 10, that was it, so done. So there's my 10 fill it, and I just go to here and I say, uh, right click on it and say translate, and I can step, Okay, and once I've got it translated, I'll come over here. This is the original one. I'm going to delete that one, and here's here's the translated one here. So I'm going to say uh, download that. So here it is, untitled three dot step. Go back to a moment of inspiration, and I'm going to say I'm going to take this. I'm going to name it A. Okay, and here's the objects A. I can hide it for if I want to. Just uh, turn it off. And say file import and let's go to this three step and that's all there is to it it's really fast it comes in so solid just works great so it's a real I, i'll typically can go back and forth just about that quickly two three you know two three minutes to to, to get almost any filleting i want it's a great great uh workflow hope this helps